Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the types of distributed systems, guys. Okay, so basically they are divided into three different types, guys. The first type is nothing but a distributed computing system, distributed information system, distributive pervasive system. Okay, okay. So basically, from the words you can get some idea, guys. Okay, so I'll be just giving you a glance of the things. Okay, so basically computing. So computing means we are solving something or we are solving a problem or we are computing a problem, right? So that will be coming here, guys. Similarly, distributed information system. So this system so might be sharing information among themselves or sharing information about some other servers. So that could be here. Similarly, distributive paravise system. So this is a, this word might not be making any sense, but it is nothing but the it is. A, a distributed system which if, through which you can get a real time values guys like it could be an iot device which which will be giving the temperature pressure and all those things like every time to time so that comes under here okay okay so distributed computer systems are furtherly divided into three different types guys so the first type is nothing but cluster computing okay grid computing and cloud computing okay okay so first let us go through distributed computing system okay so the first type so the distributed, I told you, right? So computing is nothing but you are solving a single problem with multiple systems. So that is the reason why it is called a distributed computing system. So the distributed system uses a group of computers that share a common computation problem among them. So as to generate an efficient solution in a short span of time. So basically assume that a single system is working on a large data and it took one hour guys of time. In the same situation, three systems are working on the same data by dividing it into three different parts then how much time will it take so if it is running at the same pace and everything it will be done in 20 minutes only so here it is done in short time so that is the reason why i wrote here short time guys okay so here we will be solving some particular problem it might be mathematical or any kind of computation problem okay okay so first let us go through the first step that is nothing but cluster computing okay okay so basically cluster is nothing but a group of something we will be calling them as cluster guys so basically among themselves also there should be some common thing and with respect to others they are completely different so that will form a cluster guys okay so just by observing the definition of cluster only you can say okay so then the hardware the software and everything should be of same type right yes you are correct so it is a form of distributed computing where a group of computers are linked together in a network to perform a single task and act as a single system. Okay. So they can perform load balancing as they divide the load into half of halves, right? The only disadvantage is that they should be homogeneous. So homogeneous include they should be of same operating system. They should be of same type and all those things guys okay yes so that is the only disadvantage in cluster okay guys will be discussing about these clusters and all those things in detail in a data mining guys okay so don't worry about that so in simple words if you ask me so what is a cluster is nothing but so assume that you want to divide some points in a graph guys so or some items in a items okay so assume that you got multiple fruits so you made them all into one cluster and you got a tomato so tomato is a sorry tomato is a vegetable right yes so that is the reason why it is not a fruit right so that is the reason why you can place tomato somewhere else right so in that way so you among these they are having some similar character but when you compare with other they are having completely different character so that is nothing but a cluster guys okay so if you want to draw a small diagram so this is the public network front end and these are multiple systems and this is the switch which is connected and this front end is going to share the load and all those things okay yes similarly grid computing so once you have got an idea about cluster computing, the disadvantage of cluster computing is removed by grid computing guys. Okay. So in grid computing, you can use different types of hardware, software, network, security and all those things could be different guys. So that is the major advantage of grid computing. If you want to draw a diagram, you can draw the same diagram as above guys. Okay. Yes. Similarly, cloud computing. So basically this is one of the most popular word, right? So nowadays, yes. You're correct. So basically cloud computing is nothing but so you will be using or sharing or accessing something which is over the internet guys. So that is nothing but cloud computing guys and you'll be solving the problems or anything with the help of them. Okay. Yes. So it is defined as a storing and accessing the data and computing services over the internet. So basically cloud is nothing but in simple words you can say it is a group of collection of networks that is nothing but internet guys. Okay. So it is in demand available of 
computer services like server so basically it is now in demand and the availabilities of the cloud computing are nothing but data storages networks databases etc okay yes so i hope everyone got a clear idea about distributed computing systems so now let us go through distributed information system so i told you right so when i am explaining i told you that it is it will be in related with information so it is used to keep track of the information about the applications running over the network which are distributed among various entities so basically if there is a huge network and some particular processes or some particular data is shared between multiple systems and multiple networks so somewhere you need to store that information right so this file belongs to him and this is being shared to these all people this file belongs to that person and that file is shared to these people like that you need to store somewhere always there could be multiple issues so that storage is done in this distributed information system guys okay yes so they are used to manage and integration of a business information so basically you might be having it okay so then how do they achieve these things so basically they use a remote procedure calls or remote invocations guys remote method invocations to achieve this thing okay yes guys we'll be discussing in this unit only we'll be discussing uh, after some lectures about rpc and rmi in detail guys. so don't worry about it okay yes so let us continue the th third type of distributed system is nothing but a distributed pervasive system so basically this pervasive meaning is a bit different guys but this system the distributed system is used in mobiles and embedded systems guys so basically in simple words any kind of a small electronic device which gets or which gathers data continuously is are nothing but here you will be getting them guys okay so these are all around us and controlled by themselves so the best examples are nothing but home systems electronic health care sensors etc so sensors are nothing but using home automation or iot sensors to automate some things okay or health by monitoring the values and getting the values guys so basically most of them keep their watches right so digital watches i don't know what they are exactly called so they'll be saying your pulse and all those things right so how many steps you walked even when someone is calling to your phone it is displayed on that watch right yes so that is a small sensors they are using some small sensors they'll be connected to wifi or any kind of device i don't know exactly okay or bluetooth and they will be working guys okay so i hope everyone got a small idea about distributed types of distributed systems so in the next lecture we will be discussing about architecture styles guys okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching